Welcome to Graphic Island. In today's video, we create print ready label design. So let's get started. First, we need to do the printing page setup. Change the default unit to inches. In width, give 16.15. In height, give 4.25. Now, under the advanced option, here we'll choose the printing color that is CMYK. In case of raster effect, we'll choose 300 ppi and click on create. And we are done with the page setup. Before I continue with the next step, I'd like to thank you Enbeto Element for sponsoring this video. I'd also like to thank you all the subscribers who shows their immense support to Graphic Island till date. The artboard outline is considered as streamline or in other words, you can say it die cut line of the design. Now let's add the bleeding section to our design. So take the rectangular tool and click here. Here give the die cut line resolution that is 16.15 and add 0.5 to the die cut line area which will form the bleeding section. Similarly, in height, we'll add 0.5 to the die cut line area and this will form the bleeding section. Click OK. Now align it horizontally and vertically center and remove the outline stroke of the rectangle. Now we are going to add safe zone to our design. Input the resolution of the die cut line that is 16.15 and we'll subtract 0.35 from it, which will form the safe zone of the design. Similarly, in height, subtract 0.35. Now align it horizontally and vertically center. Remove the fill color and give a outline. Choose outline color from here. Select the safe zone and hide it for now. Now take the rectangle and here give the resolution for the front panel that is 6.8 and in height give 4.25. Align it horizontally and vertically center. Let's take it towards left hand side using left arrow key on your keyboard. Now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle at the bottom. Now change the color. Manipulate the color from here. Now take pen tool and draw a panel line here. So this line will separate left panel, front panel and the right panel. Now go to object and visible the safe zone. Now take rectangular tool and draw a rectangle at the right panel by following the safe zone. Now take text tool and draw a text box inside the rectangle. And input the details about the product. And choose an appropriate font from the character option. Now select the text and make it bold. Now fix the paragraph. Choose this one. Now drag it using Alt can make a duplicate and edit the text and here write more details about the product. Now select it and make it italic. And here write more details about the product. And from here reduce the space between the text. Now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle. And place the shape at the right hand side of the front panel.
now take add answer point tool and click at the center select this point using upward arrow key make the shape like this and here input more details Take direct selection tool, drag it inside and make it round like this. Here write the details. Now take pen tool and here draw a tick mark. Remove the fill color, give outline only and bring it here make the shape little bigger now select them drag it using alt key and make a duplicate and edit the text now select the text and align them to the left here draw a circle, drag the circle using alt can make a duplicate, control D and repeat this and rearrange it. Here also write few more details and change the color. Now select them and drag it to our artboard. change the color and here arrange them and make a design so those are the fruit outline shapes you can find to download on Enbeto element The product is about fruit chocolate, so we are using the fruit outline shapes here. And here draw a circle. Change the color to white. Drag the circle using Alt key and make a duplicate. Control plus D and repeat it. Now let's fill this one. Take Shape Builder tool and click over this ungroup it and delete the outline shape change the color of the dot regroup them and bring over the design now double click at the reflect tool and copy bring it towards left hand side and rearrange the shapes now here write the details about each icon and delete those unnecessary icons now take pen tool and fill up this gap Select the down shapes and bring them to the front. And here draw a small circle, change the color. And drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate. And make the circle little more smaller. And keep distributing around the design. Just simply drag it using Alt key. It will create the duplicate. Similarly on the other side distribute the shapes of the circles Now here write the social media details and now from the Enbeto element let's find 
a nice logo so here search the organic logo because the product is about organic and uh, let's find a nice logo which can best fit for our design so from the Enbeto element website you can download logo or any other designs with the license so let's download this one here add text and create the license add and download our file is downloading now click over this open the file now drag the logo to our design ungroup it and bring the icon and place it here let's change the font for the text and bring this one here and change the color for this Now let's download one more logo. So let's download this one. Here write text and create a license. Add and download. Open the zip folder. Double click at the file and drag it to our design. now here let's download the barcode so in nbeto element website you'll find the barcode as well download this one add license and download drag it to our artboard and leave it here and here write the details of the barcode now add those symbols to it Add the social media icon and the Instagram. Now let's download some icons from Enbeto Element again. So you'll find uh, to download the outline shapes from this Enbeto Element website. Let me download those vegetable icons add the license download open the zip folder and open the file choose those icons and drag it to our artboard and place those icons over the circle and now delete those panel lines and the safe zone and our design is ready now let's export our design go to file export save for web here choose jpeg and save it 
here give a name and save it let's change the color of the design so i am changing the color because i am going to show you the product with two different color now let's export it save for web here give to save now let's open the embedder element website here let's find a nice mock-up this one would be the perfect let me download this one so it has three different version now click on download here create a license add and download now open the zip folder and open the third psd file so this will open in photoshop now open our design select them and open it now go to the mockup file, click at the smart object, uh, click twice. Now drag our design over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here. Place the front panel of the design and cover the complete page of the mockup. now close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied similarly let's apply the mockup again so drag our design to the new tab of the mockup and this time place the right panel over the new tab of the mockup mark it close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied now double click at the third layer of the mockup file now drag this one and leave it here close the tab yes so hope you understand how to create print ready level design in adobe illustrator you can find all your necessary things to download as a graphic designer from Enbeto Element website. I have given link on the description as well as in comment section. You can check them and you can go there, take a subscription and download unlimitedly. Here I am Abul Mansur. Wish you all the best. See you next video. Have a nice day.